Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna check out a very impressive portfolio. I would give it a 9.5 out of 10, maybe even a 10. So let's get into it, all right? So here we go, guys. Shout out to Stefan. Um, Stefan is from Serbia. He sent me an email. He said like this. Hey, Joe, I'm a 20 year old guy from Serbia. I finally finished my portfolio and I started my job hunting a few days ago. Can you please take a look at my portfolio and let me know what you think? Jobs for juniors here looking kind of hard. They're more like medium positions than junior. They want us to be the next Elon Musk. <laughs> Do you have some tips for me to find a remote job from the US um, where it will be okay to work with someone outside in the US? I'll send you my CV, so maybe you have some tips for it. Okay, cool. So again, this is portfolio right here. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Yes, he just started a few days ago. Okay, as far as like, hey, he puts his portfolio up, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I think he's ready to go. Okay, I will give this a 9.5 out of 10. 10, like I said, uh, most likely. <laughs> and it's because it's a really good portfolio. Okay, so again, uh, let's go in. It's very simple portfolio, no fancy animations, nothing too crazy. Okay, front end React developer, Stefan. Topolovic, uh, passion front and react developer based in Belgrade, uh, Serbia. Okay. Tech stack, HTML, CSS, right? JavaScript, React, Tailwind, SAS. All right, cool. So in here, he has his about section. Very nice. Okay. Each project is a unique piece of development. So in here, what I really like about this portfolio is that he has like real applications that a business can see themselves and say okay he can come work here he can do this type of work here and again everything is like pixel perfect everything uh just seems very very polished um you're not gonna find no random uh, to do app no web api app um no little javascript snake game like everything here is pretty much like hey uh, this is something for a business, which is something that I always recommend to every single one of you guys. This is how you actually get hired. Show that you can actually do work for the type of positions that you are going for. Stop going in and just putting in random projects just to fill it up. People don't care about that you did 30 uh, tutorials on YouTube, right? Don't put those projects in there. What you want to do is you want to go in and build solid projects that a business can say, okay, this guy's ready to go. All right, so let's take a look at this first project over here. Uh, this is a car rental service. Okay, the design is very nice. Everything about it is very good. Like I have, um, you know, any complaints uh, about this at all. Right, very nice. Okay, uh, rental fleets. Okay, he has the different rental fleets. And as you can see, everything changes, the different pricing, the different models. So again, he's taking his time to go in and make everything interactive. He could have easily just stop right there and say, hey, this is the landing page, ta-da, right? But he's actually making everything, you know, uh, work. So again, very nice. Okay, let's see here. Again, the design is very good. It's really helping him out. Okay, everything works. And let me see if I open up my inspect element. Make sure this thing is responsive. It looks good. Yes, sir. Okay, your boy's not playing no games. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's go to the next one. We got a coin dumb. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this, you know, these names, right? So it's coin dumb, right? I almost said something else. Uh, but again, landing page, very nice. Nice little animations. Okay. Again, in here, he's showing us that he can work with different APIs. So this is actually pretty good. Okay, there we go. It's changing the different coins. Okay, why choose us? Connect your wallet. Again, the design of it, it's really, really good. And this is something that you guys got to keep in mind. If you show people that you can build something with a good design, even if you didn't build the design yourself, you could find designs online from Dribbble to you know other websites that already have beautiful designs and then you go and recreate them. 
right if you're able to do that then guess what it's just gonna show them that no matter what they throw at you you can actually go and build it and if they give you a, a really good quality design you can go in and execute it and make it into a real website and a web application okay the next one we have right here is gym eight or gym mate so click over here very nice okay nice hover effect okay it actually goes in and takes you to the different classes so this is like the little details going the extra mile okay sometimes people just go in and build the landing page and don't even try to do the rest of the pages so again he's showing you that he could build a full website all he needs is the design and he can go and build it so again very nice got the about page got the gallery page got the schedule page okay got the blog got the pricing Okay, got the different classes over here got the contact page so yes you can go and build you a full site if you give him the design again he's a front-end developer <laughs> all right let's go to the next one in here we have rough e-commerce so basically the focus simplicity clean design the store prioritize the user experiences uh, make it easy for customers to find a purchase product react and vanilla css that's what he used in here okay pretty straightforward okay let's see okay he does have a, a product page all of this is working click add to cart the cart is actually working there you go let me see maybe it goes to the checkout it'll be nice if we would have had this connected to stripe okay but again very nice design very nice website uh, pretty much showing all of the skills that he has as a front-end developer uh, which is really good you see everything here is very polished everything works all the filtering systems okay and again you have the product pages right here you have a trending now section so yeah you know there's no complaints in here i'll be honest with you guys all of these projects look legit okay so again shout out to your boy stefan this is what you call a really good portfolio guys again if you want to get to a level like this definitely check out codingphase.com for those of you guys that don't know we do teach people how to code doesn't matter what level you're at we can help you out if you are a completely beginner like you have no knowledge of programming we can help you get to a point just like Stefan. So again, shout out to him. His portfolio is looking great. It's only a matter of time uh, from, you know, from now to when he's going to get hired. Now, my advice that I would tell him, right, because he's outside of the U.S., sometimes it's a little bit difficult for people to find jobs in the U.S. market, right? But what you want to do is you want to start looking into other type of uh, technologies or, you know, frameworks or libraries, you know, pretty much just uh different ways that you could get in um again react is very popular so you have a, a leg up because you have a really polished portfolio i will also recommend that you go and check out typescript and also to check out angular okay now you might say well joe i love react i'm a react developer but this is what i'm gonna tell you right hear me out if you want to find some opportunities right and you're seeing that you're applying to jobs, you're applying to jobs, and you're not getting the responses that you want, you're not getting the interviews that you deserve, guess what? Try to get in a different way. Now, a lot of people are paying attention to Angular. They're not really paying attention to the opportunities that's there because they kind of don't want to do it. Everybody wants to do React, and that's fine. You could do React on, on the side. You could do it on your own projects, but if you want to get paid, look for ways to get into the industry quickly, okay? angular right now no one's paying attention to it so if you go in and go over angular maybe you know get a online course or here on codingface.com you go over the angular course you can pick it up like this it's super quickly right and then from there you just build one more project in angular just to show your diversity and then apply for all of those angular positions from Serbia. you can definitely get a job as an angular developer 
for sure. Now, of course, you're going to continue applying as a React developer. I'm not saying to stop applying for those roles too, but you want to go in and start adding some more projects, maybe some Angular, maybe some Shopify, and maybe even a WordPress site. And again, I know how people feel about WordPress, but when you're outside of the US, what you care about is this, okay? You want to get your money, okay? And there's a lot of opportunities there. Don't leave those opportunities on the table. Now, you could stay at home and wait, you know, six months, a year, till you find the right front end position as a React developer. Or you could say, let me start working now, build some experience. And guess what? When you go in and apply as a React developer, now you got six months of experience, a year of experience, right? Using web development technologies that are adjacent to it. Like again, Ang Angular and, and WordPress. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, play chess, not checkers. All right, guys. So again, guys, like I said, if you guys want to go and learn how to code, uh, check out codingphase.com. It don't cost nothing uh, to go check out the website. Literally, you know, we teach coding not as a hobby, but for a goal to either make money as a developer independently or to start getting a job. Okay. So again, the whole goal here is to get you guys into your first position. And that's what we do at codingphase.com. You can go and check out some of the stories from the hall of fame. Um, again, shout out to Brian, uh, Trikovic, the latest member that we added to the hall of fame hire as a software engineer been killing it on uh, the past few months and yeah shout out to sebastian kevin paris right uh eric williams Herman valerio and all the other guys that we are going to be adding to the hall of fame in the near future um but yeah like i said check out the platform and i'll see you guys later it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com stefan congratulations you have an amazing portfolio see you guys later peace